Well, news coming in that the family of an Indian national, Arif Majid, who along with two others went missing in Iraq since May and were believed to have joined the ISIS in Iraq, the family has now received a call that he's been killed. Saurav Gupta, my colleagues following the story, he now joins me. Saurav, what exactly happened? Why? Uh, who did this call? Who was this call from that the family has received? Well, Sarah, if you remember earlier when these men were reported to have gone and joined the ISIS and Iraq, there were a group of few men. And of course, one of these men from the group informed to call the parents of the person believed to be dead, that is Arif Majid, to tell them that he had died in, in some sort of an explosion. That's the report that the ATS has got. Of course, that's what our sources in the ATS are telling us. Uh, and also they're saying that they are waiting for independent confirmation. Of course, here, uh, unlike in other cases where the process is like identifying a body or DNA testing here, all of those things come much later because really where this incident is supposed to have taken place is a combat zone. What we're being told is that the incident uh, apparently took place in Mosul in Iraq and that is why while there is no independent confirmation what our ATS are telling us at the moment is that Arif Majid's parents were informed by one of the men of that very same group that Majid has succumbed to his injuries in an, some sort of an explosion in Iraq. All right, Saurav, and also just give us the background. Was it ever actually confirmed that these three men had joined ISIS? Well, very difficult to say. There was no independent confirmation, but it was believed that they had joined the uh, ISIS from the circumstantial evidence that uh, the police had, for example, that these men had written letters that were, of course, uh, 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 pointing towards their religious, uh, you know, uh, uh, that they were brainwashed uh, by uh, people who, uh, who could have been amongst these groups that are fighting in Iraq, and also the fact that uh, the kind of uh, communication that they had with their family and the circumstances under which they went uh, from India and then disappeared from the group that they were traveling in originally for a pilgrimage. It was uh, actually presumed that they had joined the ISIS and that, of course, had come on record. Uh, while the parents had issued some sort of a denial, uh, there was no, no reason really not to believe that they had gone there and joined the ISIS in the fighting that's taking place there. All right, thanks, Saurav. Let's actually play that interview where we spoke with the parents, Arif's father, who had denied reports that his son had joined ISIS. Thanks again, Saurav. Sir, first of all, we want to know how you know and when you know that Arif is not at home. Did you say something from home? Yes, Arif. On the 25th, when he didn't come to the house, he was going to study for the first time. He didn't come to the house, then I told him that he was missing. लेकिन क्या उन्होंने आपको इराक से कभी कोई फोन किया आपको कैसे पता लगा कि वो इराक में 26 तारीख को मुझे फोन किया कि मैं बगदाद पहुंच गया हूं तभी मुझे पता चला आपने उनसे कुछ सवाल जवाब नहीं किया कि आप बगदाद में वही का क्यों गए तो बोले मैं यहां पिलग्रिम करूंगा ज्यारत करूंगा और यहां कुछ जॉब ढूंढूंगा क्योंकि डिप्लोमा होल्डर ऑलरेडी था और अभी डिग्री कर रहा था तो मैंने उससे रिक्वेस्ट की कि बेटा आ जाओ तो बोले इंशाल्लाह आ जाऊंगा एक और एक अंग्रेजी अखबार में खत की बात आ रही थी बार बार वही उसके बारे में बवंडर खड़ा किया है ऐसा कोई खत मेरे बेटे ने नहीं दिया है वो आप पुलिस से भी वेरीफाई कर सकते हो तो आपको क्या लगता है इसमें किसी की साजिश है क्या कैसी इस खत की बात कैसा है कि किसी को भी अब वो खत क्या है उसका जेरोक्स क्या है वो दिखता भी नहीं है पेपर के अंदर और वो जो है किसी ने अपनी टीआरपी बढ़ाने के लिए किया होगा कुछ किया होगा और एक इनोसेंट बच्चे को कहीं से मिंजल कर दिया